Oh, that's a tough one. Chelsea 2, Burnley 2. Why did we not win that game? Who's at fault? Was it Potch? Was it Petrovic? Was it our defense? Was it our tactics? Our offense? Our not scoring enough? Our selfishness? What just happened? I'm going to go over that and I'm going to break down player ratings so that we can figure out what just happened. So stick around. Okay, now first of all, why did Chelsea lose or draw this game? It's like a loss. Let's be honest. No Chelsea fan is walking away from this happy. I want to put it this way. We were just up going into a second half with 11 men versus 10 men. We had a goal advantage at home against the 19th, 19th placed Premier League team without their coach. And we just lost that half 2 to 1. Wow. Okay. Everyone knows the graphic that has been showing that Chelsea has been like, what, eighth in the Premier League in the first half and a relegation team 17th in the bottom half. And that problem has not gone away. It has not improved at all. Like, you, there's improvement in the team. Everyone's saying that. There's improvement. We haven't lost in this. And that record's still going to stand. Whatever. I don't give a crap about that. You cannot be this bad in the second half. Like, this is a problem that needs to change. And I get that we have a young team and people are going to play into that like, oh, you have a young team. You don't have experience. Yes. Part of it's that we don't have experience and part of it is Pochettino. As a coach myself in the past, you use halftime to grow, to improve, especially with a young smog, to inspire, right? You want to go on to that second half knowing your opponent better, knowing the way they're going to play, giving an idea to these young players so that they can succeed. And we did nothing like that. There's a couple reasons we lost this game. Number one, we don't know how to play in the second half. And that is Poch's fault with a little bit of the club's fault for not putting any veteran players. Those two. I'll give it 50-50. Secondly, Petrovic made a mistake. Now I'm going to get into player rating, so I don't want to go into it, but he made a mistake. Let's be obvious. That second goal. Third thing is we did not come ready to play. This game should have been put to bed earlier. We should have scored more goals. We should have been more in demand, but we were selfish. We looked like we were playing as a, as like we were just playing for ourselves and not together. <sighs> Yeah, we we lost that game for a lot of reasons. But I'm going to give you my player ratings to kind of break down every player's individual performance, how they helped the team, and how they didn't help the team. So let's just do the player ratings. Um, the starting lineup that Potch chose, I will put right here. Honestly, I was happy with it. I didn't think that Betty, uh, Badia Shill was ready to play, so I didn't put him in there. But that pairing I would have chose. Apart from that, I have zero complaints. We obviously have an injury crisis, which is another issue as itself. <sighs> but, yeah, that's that's the team we had. Best lineup we could have put out, honestly, in my opinion. I'm not mad. Let's go into the player ratings, though. So, Petrovic is going to get a three. Now, here's the thing I'm going to say about Petrovic that I want to make clear. If you are a player like Sterling that gets hated on by the fan base... It's not that you had a bad game. It's not that you had a bad moment. You missed an easy shot. That's okay. Like, you just have to be consistently good and have a mistake here and there. That's what Petrovic is. He gets a three. He had a couple great saves at the beginning. Yes, did he? Yes, should he have absolutely saved that goal? Yes. Is it his fault? Am I mad? No, because he hasn't made a really big mistake as a Chelsea goalie yet. It's going to happen. Sucks it happened when it did, but we'll take it with a grain of salt. He's still a starting goalie. I'd be fine with him starting next year. 
Let's go into the right back position. Malu Gusto gets a seven. Now, Malu Gusto and Cole Palmer are above the rest in this team right now, but he got hurt, and that scares the crap out of me because Alfie Gilchrist came on and looks like he's a center back who doesn't know what he's doing in the right back position. So I hope, hope that Gusto is better for Man United, but we'll see there. He's going to get a seven. He, I love that he goes wide. Like when we were playing a low block, everyone seemed too congested. They didn't know what they were doing. He took the ball out wide. He spread him out. He had a couple lapses in the defense, but I'm going to give him a seven because I think he had a good game. The center backs are going to get it. <laughs> not the best ratings. I'm going to give uh, DeSauci a five. I mean, you can see two goals against 10 men and a five is nice for you. And he didn't really have a fault for either of the goals, so I can't really give him much more. So that's why I'm just going to give him a plain out five. Uh, Badia Shill, he's actually, I want to give him a six, so I'm just going to give him a six. I don't like giving a player above a five if you concede two goals, like I said, against Burnley. But I love his passing. Like, Badia Shill can really, really, like, if he can lock down his just, I don't know, ruggedness in defense, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, He'll be a great player because he's got some great passing on him. I'm going to give him a six because I'm just happy with Batty Shill back. Um, left back is Cucurella. I'm actually going to give Cucurella a seven. Like, I really think that Cucurella had a not bad game. Like, I don't know why, but I think Cucurella is like a fine left back. Like, and even though he doesn't have that dynamic quality that everyone talks about, he is a solid backup. We overpaid so much for him. But, like, I really want him to stay at the Chelsea team. Going into the midfield, uh, Enzo's going to get... Now, I'm going to give Enzo a six. I want to give him higher. He was at fault for that last goal, too. He lost the header. Yes, he's a small player. You can't put too much on him, but he lost it. Let's be honest. So he's going to get a six. He had a lot of good creating, though. A lot of chances that should have been finished. And man, was he the engine of this team, especially taking out Casado and uh, Gallagher. I'm going to give him a six. Casado is going to get a six as well. Didn't really do too much wrong. Um, had a couple good through balls. His through balls are underrated. Um, but didn't play as much, got subbed off earlier, and just just a normal performance. A little bit above average, that's why it's a six. Um, going up top, Connor Gallagher gets a... Now, I love Gallagher. I'm a huge Gallagher fan, but he got a four. I mean, he got a yellow card. There were so many instances where he just didn't do enough against a Burnley team. And I'm like, we're, we just all know that Connor Gallagher is an eight. I don't care what someone says. He's a great box-to-box -box midfielder. He has an engine on him. He's making those simple passes. And I do believe he could adapt as a 10. But like the way that modern football is going with 10s and 6s, the true 8 position has kind of been lost a little bit. And it's tough for Gallagher. But he got a, he just didn't do enough for me as a captain. Like As a captain, you automatically have to perform higher. Love Connor was in his day. Gets a 4. Up top... Mudrik is going to also get a 7. He drew the penalty for us. He had moments of brilliance. I think I saw a, a, a quote that said he won 10 duels. Crazy. I mean, duels, he is solid. I mean, is he better than Matawaki? Question mark. Like, I don't know what people think because everyone thinks Matawaki is the best, but Mudrik is solid. Um, there was definitely a couple finishing things that I think he could have done better. At that left wing position, I I, I don't know how I feel completely. I like him in it, but when we play these younger teams, I feel like he needs to be more central. Like, he just needs to be more central for that. Um, going up top, Jackson is going to get a five. Jackson has so many little touches. He's just... I don't think Jackson's a pure striker yet. He has to develop those striker instincts, which scares me a little bit, as far as that first touch, that shoot... He plays more like a winger, which is not necessarily what we need. And honestly, I still want a Victor Gokrez or a Victor Osame in the summer, and I'd love for him to be a backup. Um, but he, he just didn't do anything. I'm going to give him a five. Like, I want you to do more as a striker against Burnley with 10 men. Now, I'm going to go at right wing. We had Cole Palmer. 
Obviously, Cole Palmer did great. He's going to get a nine. You can't score two goals and have, create as many opportunities as he did. You can't score two goals and for me to give you anything lower than a nine. But here's the thing I will say about Cole Palmer, and this could be a huge downfall. Chelsea were playing so selfish today, so selfish. We weren't playing together. And I know that announcer had an interview with him when he was talking about how Cole Palmer's the best player and he looks online on social media. Oh my gosh, where will we be without Cole Palmer? Cole Palmer is absolutely carrying Chelsea. And while there is truth to that statement, I do not want Cole Palmer to think that he is better than the players and to have this arrogance about him and take shots and try to do everything himself. And I don't want him to walk away from this Burnley game with his head held high saying, oh, I did my part. I scored my two goals. I scored a cheeky pen. I scored a goal. I can hold my head up high. It doesn't matter. Like I want him to be concerned about the team that we lost and really want Chelsea. I, I know he came from Man City. He came, went away from Man City to get playing time and to prove himself. I just hope he's falling in love with Chelsea and wants Chelsea to succeed more than himself, if that makes sense. So I'm a little worried about that, honestly, but I mean, 9 out of 10. Uh, subs? I'm going to give Sterling, honestly, I'm going to give him, like, for coming on, I'll, I'll give him a seven. Like, he missed that one sitter, yes, but he had a beautiful assist. And the way he was playing, he was playing so simple, which is what I, I loved to see that from Sterling. Like, he got the ball, he laid it off. He got the ball, he played the simple pass. Every single time he got the ball almost. He wasn't trying to dribble at defenders. He wasn't taking forever. He was just doing the simple thing. Which, I don't know who said that to him. I don't know if he thought about it or Potch told him that. I'm happy that he did that. I mean, I wouldn't be mad. He's had two assists in back-to-back games. So I wouldn't mind if he started the next game. But he better have that work rate. Like, he better have that work rate. Um, Matawaki gets a, a four. I mean, he did not do much at all. <sighs> I just think... I called him a, the most overrated player in my uh, in my season review so far and I kind of regretted that a little bit because I think I've been a little harsh with him but he's just not there yet like he he just needs that middle club premier league for a couple years to get to Chelsea level and then he'll be there so many players took that leap from bad or from okay team to great team instead of going from okay to good to great so that's my thoughts on Matawaki those are my player ratings Obviously, a very, very frustrating game. So if you'd help me make feel a little bit better and hit that like button and please subscribe so I can make more content, I would love that. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the season, and hitting that subscribe button would make me feel a lot better because I'm kind of depressed right now. Let's be honest. Every Chelsea fan is. So uh, those are my s- player ratings. That's why I think Chelsea lost. We lost because... Potch can't motivate a team. We lost because we're a young team. Petrovic made a mistake, and we're selfish. That's my video. I want to know what your guys' thoughts are down below. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>